Clip Clip here, um, doing another video on my channel, kind trying to kind of um, mix up things. Um, we've got motocross videos, we've got guitar videos, and now we're gonna got, kind of go to the nerdy side of things. To be honest with you, today with me I have Philip, how's it going? Guest on my channel. Uh, we're gonna see how this unboxing video works. This is an unboxing video, so this will be my first ever that I've done uh, for YouTube as far as unboxing goes. So, um, any of you Yu-Gi-Oh fans out there, let me know in the comment section because this is what we're going to do today, is that we're going to unbox a premium gold, infinite gold package. Uh, I saw these today at work at Walmart, um, and I, I looked them up on an app on YGO prices, and honestly, there's some really good draws in this one. It comes with uh, three five-card uh, packages. So I guess we'll see, we'll unbox them one by one and, and show you the cards as we go. Um, since Phil's my guest today, I'm going to let him go first. As you can see, both these boxes have not been unpackaged or anything. So this is going to be a true unboxing. Um, and this will kind of show you what you're going to get. This was 14, what, 14.99? 14.95, I think. Yeah, something like that. So, I mean, it's a little bit more than buying three packages of cards. You can go ahead and start if you want to. It's, uh, it's a little bit more than buying just three packages of individual, like, nine card packs. Um, we know Dragons of Legends came with five. So if you were to buy three of those packages, it would only be, you know, four bucks a piece as opposed to these are about five dollars a piece. So you're spending a little bit more, but you're going to get a lot more out of it. How's the unboxing feel? Is it, is it pretty easy? Yeah, it's not too bad. The okay. plastic's kind of irritating. Right, it always is on stuff. So we're going to see what kind of comes out of that. A little bit weird. Oh, it oh, opens it the opens. top. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, and then again, these come with uh, three five card uh, packs. So um, it just looks like your regular packages you pull out of a normal package of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So we're going to see what he's going to get out of these. Got the premium so. gold, infinite gold. Yeah. These are actually pretty cool. You can put, you know, after you get those out, show them what it looks like on the inside. Oh, you cool. Could, and that's what the inside the, of the case looks like. You could put stuff in there. You could yeah, really put could. Like a USB drive or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, because us nerds, yeah. if you're into Yu-Gi-Oh, you're definitely into computers and USB <laughs> drives, too. So... Uh, this is the simple part, just opening it up. So we'll go one by one as he opens these up. He's going to show them to you, um, and we'll see how it kind of goes. This one looks nice. First one, what is that one? Uh, number 11, Big Eye. Big Eye, look at that. Go ahead and hold it right up to that camera. Go right straight up there. Yeah, so that's that's a, that's a, that's a, secret, that's a secret rare right there. That's honestly a good draw. Let's see what else you got here. Cosmo... Straw Man? A lot of the Cosmo cards are huge right now. Uh, the Cosmo card Don't cheat. What are you doing? The Cosmo cards are honestly really a big popular thing in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Then Galaxy Cyclone. Guys, these, these look really good. Look at this. Look at the gold kind of twisted around a little bit there. Yeah, look at that. They're, they are all... Every single one he's drawn so far has been like this. And the gold on the, on the edges of the cards, too, are just fascinating, honestly. The Phantom Knights of Dark Gauntlets. Oh, that's awesome. That's very awesome. I like that. These are these are some decent cards. How many you're pulling? About what? Uh, that's three Magic and Trap cards. We have an XYZ monster and an Effect monster, and this is your last one, your Magic card. The Terminus of the Burning Abyss. All right. Nice. Those were all extremely good draws. I can't wait for this next package here. Let's see how this goes. Right. Oh, first off, I see an XY or a Synchro Monster here. Yeah. Those are always fun. Still kind of learning on those. Black Rose Dragon. Right. Every single one of these is gold. That's the nice thing about it. They, they I guess that's a reason it's called, yeah. you know, the premium gold pack. Cosmo Light Sword. Another Cosmo one. Ooh, this next one. Look at this. Remove brainwashing. Look at that. On the on the it's her her body, her whole entire body is not holographic at all. There is no hologram on that. It's kind of set in a background that does have that effect, the shining effect behind it. So that really pops out. I really like that one. To Sukumo Slash. If I don't butcher that. <laughs> these are really good This is good draws. I'm gonna have to look yeah. up the values on each of these. Uh, Farfa, 
male branch of the Burning Abyss. I don't know who makes these names, but we really have to contact them and ask them what's going on. <laughs> Last package here. We got a pendulum monster. Never, I really have never seen a secret rare pendulum monster ever. So this one's nice. Luster Pendulum, the Draco Slayer. Is that a luster one? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Treacherous Trap Hole. Another one of those that has one of the monsters on there is not a hologram, so it kind of pops out at you. I really like that. Mask Change 2. Wow. Oh, here's a good one. Yeah. We're cheating. Yeah. What is this? Angmarl, the fiendish <laughs> monarch. Angmarl. <laughs> right that sounds like my grandpa's name. <laughs> Angmarl. Like an ugly step yeah. cousin. <laughs> That's something. cool. I like that one. Virgil, rock star of the Burning Abyss. Okay, who is giving these people these cards 80 year olds names? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good draw. All in all, you got 15 cards in the pack. Yeah. Every single one of them, there is not one that is not a holographic. Uh, that, so six out of the 15 are secret rares. Yeah. That's a good. That's a, those are good odds. I like those yeah. a lot. So those are very very nice ones. We'll have to look up the packages each individually. I will list them down below in the description and how you can kind of get a hold of these uh, at the cheapest prices. I will do you guys that favor. <laughs> All right, my turn next. Mom says never use your teeth. But... Right. Angel and I took a trip to Texas. Okay, and I, this dude's my brother. So this is the only guy that would ever let take one of these this is dr pepper but with real sugar yeah this is a Yu-Gi-Oh video with dr pepper in it it doesn't get any better than this i promise I pro you we're doesn't. not sponsored by dr no, pepper but we but endorse hey, it hey dr pepper we we love your product okay yeah. and and Yu-Gi-Oh for that matter konami great job this is a great premium gold pack so shout out for free for that one <laughs> you're, you're you're welcome but uh got 150 calories per uh per can but who's counting right <laughs> Too bad. Ah. <laughs> no, I got it. Okay, here we go. Finally, look at this. Okay, let's open this up. I kind of want to keep this packaging good. This is a nice package. Um, package. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> this this is pretty nice. Uh, that the way it just opens and I I love the heck out of this thing, guys. When you open this thing, they're just all there, just right there, ready to go for you. Uh, you can put cards and everything in there. This this is a really nice packaging job. Um, that these guys at Konami did. So we'll go with this first one here. Let's unravel this. There's something about opening a package of cards that is just surreal. Honestly, I, they're surreal? Is that the Sur right word? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, surreal. I don't know. It's awesome. I know that. Well, first I can tell you I drew the first card that Philip here did. So it's the number 11 Big Eye. I do like this one. Uh, it looks pretty neat. XYZ Monster. This is a, uh, a uh, gold rare. This isn't a secret rare doesn't have the nice little lines through it so there's your first one let's see here this one's Cosmo Goodwitch wow this is a very very good one um, this lets you summon this is one of the summoning ones that lets you get another Cosmo from let's see it's from your hand you can special summon them this is a four star 1800 attack this is actually a pretty good draw I know Angel will like this one she likes the pretty one so this is a nice one this is secret rare so there's our first secret rare mask change 2 this is an instant spell card I really am and digging this one too as well. Uh, so as you can see there, it's nice, all nice and and uh, mask changey. So that's that's a good thing. Let's see next card, the Phantom Knights of Shade, uh, Brigadine. That's nice. Isn't this one you pulled? Is this another one? That no, I don't think I pulled that one. I don't remember. But another secret rare. So there's our second secret rare, two in one pack. I'm not complaining at all. These are awesome. So this is another trap and one more monster here. Let's see, Alec or Alec. L A L I C H Alec Alec however the heck you say it. Malin Branch of the Burning Abyss. Another... Lots of Burning Abyss. I know there's a lot of a Burning Abyss cards yeah. in Yu-Gi-Oh. Check this one out, guys. This is a nice. Uh, what is it? Psychic? No, Fiend. Okay, a Dark Fiend type, 1200 with zero defense. Uh, we'll read these effects later, and um, if you guys would like, I can post them down in the description. Let me know. I'll come back and edit it, and I will put everything in the description if you can't read it through here. 
uh, I will put it down below. So, that's the first pack. Let's see. It's two out of the five were secret rares. I can't complain. Those are nice odds. That's about Jeez, 50%, nice. you know? Yet again, my childhood comes back to me. as like, ooh, is this a ghost rare? Sorry, I interrupted myself there. <laughs> this is a nice one. I I don't know. I, I like dark things. Okay, I'm not necessarily like a dark person at all, but I like dark things. Uh. I, I do... And this one is really kind of bringing out my dark side. This is a water type. It doesn't look really right like a water type. Abyss Dweller. Now, I just pulled another abyss before. Uh, it looks like Konami really likes the word abyss, but if you can see this thing, we'll try to. I'll try to show it to you as much as I can. It's really dark. Everything about that is dark. An XYZ monster, they're easy to summon. They're, they're fun to put out there and play with. It's a great, great, um, great concept, I guess you could say. Um, I do want to say, though, it's kind of like the whole Pokemon concept. I used to know all 151. 151. Everybody used to say it's 150. No, you got to add Mew in there. He's yeah. there. He's a Pokemon. Everybody knows that. Um, it's, it's honestly like that. I knew the original 151 Pokemon, and now they have... 815,000 of them or something. Plus trash bags around this Pokemon. Yeah, plus trash. <laughs> and, and they have these little weird, like, swords. Yeah. Like... We're running out of ideas. I can't really complain though because no, I mean, there's so literally really a Pokeball yeah. as one of the first generation ones, so that's that's always nice. But my point is, like, I love the old, you know, dueling, um, not Duel Academy. I, I apologize. That's the that's uh, that's with GX. I really like the old Yu-Gi-Oh with Yugi and the Pharaoh. I won't give away the name. You have to watch that series. If you have Hulu, another push there, Hulu, guys. Hulu. If you guys have Hulu, go on there, watch the original series of, of Yu-Gi-Oh. It's it's honestly awesome. There's a lot more cards that I have. If you guys would like me to do more reviews on Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I've actually got all three of Yugi's decks that you can actually purchase, and I'll show you where to purchase those. Um, the King of Games decks that are, that are awesome. But anyways, point is, I really like the older Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. I always will. But the kind of point I make of this, the Black Horn of Heaven, you remember that one? Yeah. That Yugi had in one of his decks, right? You can actually get it out of the Legendary Collection Yugi's Yugi's World. Uh, you also got the Seal of Ori Kalkos out of which is a great card. Troll card, but great. Anyways, Grand Horn of Heaven. Look at this, guys. This is another horn of horn of heaven, horn of, of black yeah. horn of whatever. This is this is awesome. Like, during your opponent's main phase, when they would special summon a monster, negate the summon. If you do destroy that monster, then your opponent draws one card in uh, then in the main phase. So they get to draw one card, but yet this is a nice one. I really like this one. This is probably my favorite one yet. It's the third uh, secret rare. Yes, this is the third secret rare. So remove brainwashing. I'm cheating, guys. I'm sorry. Remove brainwashing. Uh, the control of all monsters on field return to the owners. So this is a continuous. Crazy. So basically, if you're trying to activate any other trap cards that would try to, you know, switch control of any other monsters to their uh, uh, original owners, this, this will actually return them back to where they're supposed to be. Um, here's another one, XYZ again, number 35. Ravenous, Ravenous, Tarantula, something like that. Ravenous, maybe it's Ravenous. I'm not sure. This takes two level ten monsters. This is a pretty high, high quality one here. I really do like it. Another secret rare. Got another one. So that's a nice one. All right, last one in this set. Let's see. Dante Pilgrim of the Burning Abyss. Another Burning Abyss yeah. card. What is this? This is the third Abyss that I've gotten in this draw. Probably just called um, Premium Gold Burning Abyss. Yeah, Premium Gold Burning Abyss. <laughs> Shout out. Anyway, uh, this is a fairy. Angel, you're going to like this one again. Uh, but it takes three Burning Abyss monsters with different names. That's how it is. This is a polymer. But this is a fusion. So you're using polymerization or however you can to use it. That is, that's cool. I like this one. I like this one a lot. So, all right. Last one. Here we go. Let's see if we can make this count. I really don't... You know, I like this packaging at the same time. I feel like there's these lips that make it hard. I guess yeah. that's because they won't fall out. That's okay, though. Anyways, last one. My childhood memories of opening them up again. I keep saying it, I know. Here we go. Alright, right off the bat, we got a good one, I think. Another XYZ monster. Come out of the package. There we go. Alright, let's see here. Ooh, this is a dragon. My favorite types. Dragons are my favorite types. They are my thing. Uh, Mad Magister Paladin, the Ascending Draco Slayer. There's a lot of Draco Slayer ones yeah. lately, honestly. Uh, but this one looks kind of cool. It looks almost Chinese looking, honestly. Like, you'd, you'd see those... those uh, Chinese dragons and everything. This thing's riding on top of that. That is, that is a neat card. I like this card. Good draw. Not even a secret ran. I like it. Next one. Void Trap Hole. 
Another good one. Secret rare. I'm liking this one a lot. Let's read the effect on this. When your opponent special summons a monster with 2,000 or more attack, negate the effects of one of those monsters with 2,000 or more attack, and if you do, destroy it. Nice. A lot of these I'm seeing in this premium gold pack is um, honestly destroying other cards that would be special summoned by your opponent. So we'll just call this the... Uh, Premium Troll Gold or something like that. Shared Ride. This is the next one. Uh, Magic card. Just a rare one there. I like that. Nice artwork on it. Junk Junk Karibo. Hey, it's a Karibo <laughs> card. Yeah. Junk Karibo. I like this one. Uh, th this is nice. Look at this, guys. I got to read the effect on it just because I want to know what it does. Because I don't know what Karibo does. During other player's turn, your opponent activates a card or effect that would inflict damage to you. You send this card from your hand to the field of the graveyard and negate the activation. And if you do, destroy the card. So, it's like Karibo Ant. Yeah, I like it. So, it's not for attacks, but it's for effects. So, like, say if somebody, you know, activates um, a card that's going to inflict damage to you, that's a magic trap or even, like, a monster card, you can do what Karibo does and send this to the graveyard. But not only do you send it to the graveyard and negate it, you destroy it, too. I like that. I like that one a lot. That's, you know, he's got 300 attack, 200 defense, but you don't use him for attacks. You use him to, to piss off your opponent. All right, this is the last one you pulled, too. What a coincidence it looks like, or at least one of the ones you pulled. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Barber? Man Branch of the Burning Abyss. Another Burning Abyss! That's <laughs> the fifth one. That's awesome. I've got the three to, to do my fusion now. Yeah. So there's there's a nice nice artwork on that one. Just a uh, just a gold rare one. I'm gonna, so six, just like Philip yeah. had. So it looks like that's planned out, honestly, which doesn't bother me whatsoever. I do like that. So six out of the 15, we both got um, secret rares out of them. Uh, the nice thing about it that we didn't mention is that there are no repeats at all. No. There were no repeats in either one of these packages. For 14 bucks, you know, 15 with tax, whatever you want to call it, um, that was a good draw, honestly. There was a lot of good cards in that. The values, I'm sure, are pretty much up there. We haven't looked at the values yet. But uh, I will post the values down below just to kind of show you how good of a draw this really was. Uh, you know, we found these at Walmart. I'm sure they're at your local card shop, like the one we don't have here in town, which is great. Um, but, I, you know, this this was a good one. The packaging's nice and everything, too. I can keep that box and use it for stuff that I want to later on. Um, I don't know how much cards you're going to be able to put in there. With 15, it's already kind of stacked up, as you can see. So we'll, uh, we'll see if... if I can fit any more. I could probably fit about 30 cards in there, so that's almost the full, you know, smallest deck you can make. But that was a nice unpackaging. I really like that. So if there's any more you would like me to do as far as Yu-Gi-Oh! is concerned, or anything like that, just let me know down below in the comments section. Um, I've got a lot of cards that are, I already have, so I can, you know, kind of show you some of my older generation cards from the first original Yu-Gi-Oh! That would be cool. I um, want to thank my guest for uh, joining me today. He'll be on further videos as well. I mean, he's he's also been on the motorcycle. You guys have been on this channel. I was the one that crashed really bad. Yes, yes. That's been the goon. <laughs> the goon guy. The, the goon, goon guy. <laughs> it's always fun. But anyways, uh, like, subscribe. Let us know how what you thought of this video. Um, and again, Dr. Pepper back here. This is fun. And if you're wondering, yes, we're in a shed. We're out back in a shed. This is actually um, right by my house. Uh, Mom and Dad are inside. They're kind of doing their own thing. That sounds wrong, but it's not, I promise. Anyways, we come out here to kind of jam and write, so this is kind of a writing place. Sorry for the mess around here, but if you have a shed, you also know that you probably work hard and have a mess back there that you can't get to to clean up. So, anyways, I appreciate it. This is Clip Clip with my guest Philip here, and uh, we will see you later.